guys welcome to example in today class we are going to solve this problem and also learn how to handle these types of problem if it is asked in com com competitive exams so let's start with this college solution so the solution for this question is so first we need to write how to change this root 14 as so generally root cube how you can able to change the x power 1 by 3 right similarly the root 14 how you can change x power 1 by 14 is it so just apply this format here also then for this becomes square root of 1.6 the root of 1.6 the root of 1.6 to the power of this 16 that to the power of 1 by 14 okay so if we see here this is in the format of what a power m the whole power n which can also be written as we can able to multiply these two that is m into n. So then apply this rule here. If we multiply these two then this becomes square root of 1.6 square root of 1.6 square root of 1.6 to the power of 16 by 40. Okay. So right. So in order to remove this root what do we have to do? We need to square on both square. Okay? We need to take square. So, to compensate that square, we need to create root. So, create square and also create root. So, then we can able to write this as 2 by 2. So, just rising power here 2 by 2. So, rising 2 by 2. After the rising, this power 14, 16 by 14. So just change this right, right? 1.6 can also be written as 6 by 10. So just apply this rule here. Therefore, put the bracket. This becomes the root of 16 by 10, the root of 16 by 10, the root of 16 by 10 to make the calculation simpler. Okay. 2 by 2 into 16 by 14. Now we are going to take this 2 alone and this 1 by 2 alone. So then I am going to create 3 bracket. Inside 16 by 10 root 16 by 10 root 16 by 10 to the power square of this 1 by 2 or 16 by 40. Okay. This square and this root get cancelled. So, this is in the a power m, the whole power n format. So, we can able to multiply these two. 1, 2 is 2. 8, 2 is 16. Okay. So, therefore, this becomes 16 by 10, the root of 16 by 10, the root of 16 by 10 of, so, which are equal. So, put equal before that to the power of 8 by 14. Okay. So, now, we need to remove this square root. Then what do we have to do? We Again we need to rise power 2 by 2. So therefore just split this right. 16 by 10 into this is number term. This is square root term. So just split and write in order to know. In order for to for convenience. For our convenience. Okay. So then rise to the power of 2 by 2. Again we need to rise to the power 8 by 14. So which we have already. Okay. So then take square alone and 1 by 2 separately. So then sixteen by ten into root sixteen by ten root sixteen by ten whole square. After that we need to put the root. After that, we need to put 18 by 14. Okay. So, then first we need to incorporate this square inside. So, put this two bracket. 16 square divided by 10 square into. For this square, put this square individually. 16 by 10 for the square to common 1 by 2 to the power 8 by 14. So here we have three brackets. So we need to have three brackets here also. 
the square and this root get cancelled. For this, we can able to multiply these two. 1, 2 is 2. 4, 2 is 8. So, therefore, this becomes 16 square by 10 square into 16 by 10 into root 16 by 10 to the power of 4 by 40. Okay. So, next step is we need to remove this square root also. For that, what do we have to do? We need to take again 5 to the power 2 by 2. So, 16 square by 10 square into 16 by 10 into the root of 16 by 10 to the power of 2 by 2 and that to the power of this 4 by 14. So, again we need to take square and 1 by 2 separately. So, then this 2 by 2 can also be written as 2 into 1 by 2, right? So, we need to square take separately and root take separately. So, 16. So, first for square, 2 into 2, 4. 2 into 2, 4 into 16 square divided by 10 square into the root of 16 by 10, the whole square to the power of, so remaining is 1 by 2. So, after that is 4 by 14. So, this square and this root get cancelled. 1, 2 is 2, 2, 2 is 4. So, then what we have finally? 16 power 4 by 10 power 4 into 16 square by 10 square into 16 by 10, the whole power 2 by 14. So, 2 by 14 we can able to cancel. That is 1, 2 is 2, 7, 2 is 14 here we have. So, then we know that 16 which is equal to 2 power 4, right? So, or else we need, we can keep this 16 as it also. So, first keep as it. Here the base is same in multiplication. Then power get added. So, which means 16 power 4 into 16 square into 16 power 1 divided by 10 power 4 into 10 square into 10. So, this is what we have here, right? So, whole power 1 by 7. This can also be written as we can able to add these two. So, based on the rule is what? A power m into A power n can also be written as A power m plus n. So, just apply this rule. Therefore, this becomes 16 power 4 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 10 power 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, therefore, which is equal to 16 power 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7 divided by 10 power 7 the whole power 1 by 7. So, this can also be written as 16 by 10 the whole power 7 and the whole power this 1 by 7. So, this is in the format of a power m the whole power m. So, we can able to multiply these two. Therefore, which is equal to 16 by 10 the whole power 7 into 1 by 7. This 7, this 7 get cancelled. So, for answer for this is 16 by 10. This can also be written as 1 point. So, therefore, the answer for this question is 1 point. So, practice tries and tries, then you will get a perfect answer. So, what we have question here is, so what question we have here is, so this is what the question. So, the answer for this question we found is 1 point. So, practice tries and tries, you will get a perfect answer. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.